That's right. Uh, confirming information, NBC First reported earlier today that uh, Genesee Moreno is the name of this shooter. Uh, she is 36 years old, as we reported earlier today. I, I want to point out, because it might not have been clear for the audience, there was a discussion about chemicals that were found or something that was found there um, and whether or not there was any sort of threat to the people who were attending that 2 p.m. service yesterday or to the community there at the church, and they said that there is not. We had received information uh, earlier today that the uh, that this individual, uh, Moreno, may have sprayed uh, some sort of substance or sprayed something um, at the scene. And so that's what that is an apparent reference to. Again, officials there saying it's benign, common household items. That dovetails with reporting uh, that we had uh, just here in the last 40 minutes or so that, according to multiple law enforcement officials to NBC News, uh, they're trying to determine whether or not some chemicals that were found in Moreno's house, the FBI searched that house, uh, it's quite a bit north of uh, Texas, that in the course of that search, they uncovered several uh, chemicals, whether or not those could have been used to have built an explosive at some point. They're common household uh, chemicals, but when put together in a certain way, prepared a certain way, uh, can obviously be quite dangerous. This investigation, as you heard them say multiple times, is ongoing. As far as the specific motive, the FBI said, you know, it's, it's, not, it's too early to get there. However, you just heard from the Houston Police Department that not only did they find Palestine uh, written on the gun, and we've reported that earlier, but new information that there were some anti-Semitic writings uh, that this individual had, uh, Moreno, and that apparently uh, she had those on her person and that there had been a recent dispute involving family members, some of whom, uh, including her ex-husband and, and his family, uh, some of whom are Jewish. So that's something that they're looking at here. Where this all goes, uh, obviously this individual is deceased. Uh, her seven-year-old son is in very critical condition, suffering a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, there appears at this moment not to be any sort of a, a further federal or criminal case. We'll just just have to see what other information as it pertains to motive will come out of this, Chris. But obviously, uh, very disturbing details that have somehow gotten worse since we initially started reporting on this.